So now we're going to demonstrate um, swapping between um, VSAT mode, which we're in now, and it's actually transmitting now, um, and satellite receiver mode. Uh, so the first thing is to um, switch the system off. Uh, so I'm just going to put the system into a stow mode by pressing the uh, button, um, holding it down, and that puts it automatically into stow position. It'll bring the dish around here as well. And then actually I'm just going to power it down um, so it stops. So if you come around here, we're going to demonstrate switching between modes. So the first thing is disconnect the, the buck connection and the LMB connection. Notice they're color coded here, four and four and buck and buck. So for the, for the receive mode, we're going to just use the four, the four connections for the um, LNB. So now we have to remove the system. So it's as quick as this. Make sure all of the quick releases are out and then just slide it to one side and lift it out as an assembly. Then putting the receive one on, it's as simple as As simple as that and then we just have to connect the four cables up now there's num numbers on each LMB so this is a little bit fiddly Now the system is going to use number four to find the satellite in the same way as that it used um, number four for the VSAT mode. We're using the same mode, same, same connection. So, so that, that's it ready to go. So I'm going to apply power again. Again, I'm waiting for the blue light to go green like before and then I'm going to press it once it will then go back to that upright position again ready to go so now we need to come to the laptop because we need to change the satellite that is selected at the moment we are selected on VSAT mode NSSL and I think you will be controlling this um, from the Globus system. We're going to disable the reference satellite and then we're going to click here um, start pointing update parameters and that will then load the new satellite into the system. And on there she goes. So it should find it on this pass, um, pretty regularly finds it on the first pass. Um, so it's stopped, it's found something. So now it's just doing a, a circular motion around and then very small movements. You can just see the azimuth and the elevation moving. It's now doing an azimuth scan, just like before in VSAT mode. Backwards and forwards, making sure it's got the best peak. And if we had the spectrum analyzer um, set up, then we could, we could see that happening. Now it's doing the same in elevation. And remember, we know it's locked once this green light goes blue.
So just one more time up, one more time down. I think up one more time. And it should stop about there. And the Q-Touch light has gone blue. So we know we're locked, it's found the right satellite, and we're good. Thank you.